Good morning, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome, welcome everyone. Today I'm here to invite you to a free lecture on Tuesday afternoon, May 7th at 4.30 Eastern Time. And the topic is the key to profitability. Let winners run and cut losers. So I'm very excited to discuss this with you today. If you're interested in more information, please feel free to contact me at Melissa at the stockswish.com and go to Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube under Stockswish and like me there under Stockswish. I also did just recently add a Skype account so you can go to Stockswish and Skype and chat me there and add me as a friend on Skype. Also, I have a group on LinkedIn called Gap Traders too. So, here's the information on the lecture for the time and date. It's May 7th, which is Tuesday afternoon at 4.30 Eastern Time. Please go to this link here and register for the event. It is a free lecture. However, registration is required ahead of time. In order to have access to the lecture and listen in, you need to go to this link and register for the event. And I'd love to see you there. So I always like to do a lecture preview to get everybody excited, prepared for what the topic is at hand. I'm going to talk about on Tuesday some things that as traders, I'm sure you've asked yourself over the course of the last few months or years even if you've been trading, and one of those main things is, what is the key to profitability? I mean, I'm sure that you've asked yourself this in the last months or years that you've been trading, wondering, how do I get to that point where I just cross over, cross over and finally start making some serious money? Ask yourself, do you hold your losing trades too long? This might be one of the issues. Or does fear or greed get in the way of you properly executing the trade? And the execution as a trade is extremely important. Or is it that you exit your winning trades too quickly? You're up money, you're so excited that you're up, you take it off, and then all of a sudden it keeps going. And you just got so excited too quickly that you were up, that you killed it unnecessarily when the trade was beautiful. Do you miss out on having huge profitable days because you cannot hold a trade to the target, not even to the first target, which is important to learn how to do and also to pick the targets too. Do you want to make more money trading and just don't know how to get there? We'll talk about this on Tuesday. And most important is do you want to trade smarter and not harder? The idea of trading smarter is being profitable, having good execution and doing what you have to do, doing your job in the time you have to do it, not sitting there for eight straight hours, trading, trading, trading like a banshee, in and out of a million things, killing stuff, letting stuff go on too long for eight hours of trading day. That is not the answer. It's not about working yourself to death. That is not the way to be profitable. It's about working smart. So profitability results are good with big winners. But your chart goes up, your results go up. Lots and lots and lots of big winners, the results are great. However, with losers, the results are not good. Why? Because if you have big losers, the results go huge down. And, and you don't even have to have a lot of big losers to make your profitability look like this chart here. Boop, right off a cliff. You could have a series of a couple small days. You could be making money every day for 10 days straight and not even any big wins, just small days or medium days and all of a sudden you have one big losing day or two big losing days because you don't know when to cut a loser off and you let it run too far against you. It just Then it kills all of a sudden the last week or two weeks of profitability and this is something that you have got to change and work on if you want to become a successful trader. So we're going to go over some examples right now of what I'm talking about, which is looking at cutting the loser where it's supposed to be cut and then letting a nice winner run. Here is the golden gap of PKI. Now, this was a trade that I did back in April, and it didn't work out. It didn't work out. You can see here on the day, it had a little bit of a short move in it. However, it was a failed gap down. That just didn't work out right in the day, and sometimes they don't. That's part of trading. That's why you have to cut your losers off when they fail. So this opened and rallied, 
Now, it had a setup in it, and this is a setup that I did. Open and rally, nothing to do, nothing to do, nothing to do. Set up right in here. Had a nice little stop. Started to go, was up in it, and then it flipped, boop, and stopped me out. So this was a failure. This was a, a play that failed. And here's what happened with it. The entry time was 9.39. The price was 30.32. The stop was over 30.55. The risk was 23 cents. So, for example, on 1,500 shares, if you've risked $345, you would have lost $345. Why? Because the trade got stopped out. Let's go back and look at it. Here. Now, you, you might have even killed it in here knowing it wasn't going to work. This happened very fast, though. And the stop's over here. It takes you, boop, right out. I never went back after this. I just, that's it. It's not going to work. I knew right away it wasn't going to work. And again, this is part of having a detailed plan of action for your trading. You don't keep going after and shorting something that's going in an uptrend. You also don't keep uh, buying stuff that's in a downtrend. So you need to know what you're looking for. And the setup occurs. You take it. Everything's great. You like the gap. It fails. That's it. That's it. You cut it. And this is another reason to use hard stops and trades. Otherwise, if you let this thing run, 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 words you've gotten out. It actually ran a dollar, a dollar over the entry point. And if you hadn't killed it and were holding on for dear life, you lost way more, way more than you would have risked. And the trade could have easily turned into a horrific thing, whereas instead, you risk the amount that you normally risk. It takes you out. That's it. You don't keep going back after it. And here's one that worked. This was a winner. Here's an example of a trade that had a beautiful move in it and played out exactly the way that I anticipated. It was GE, the day of the gap. Here was a setup in this. Open, dropped, beautiful, nice rally up, held, shorted it right in here. Had the drop down, had a beautiful move. Now, the entry time on this was 9.35. The price was 21.98. Really nice stop in this. It was six cents. Stop was over 22.04. On 6,000 shares, if you risk $360, the exit was at 10.01. I'll go back and show you that. And this didn't even go to the full on dream target. However, I have specific entry guidelines that I follow. I follow my exit rules and didn't cut this trade too short. I let it run as far as it was going to run on the day, which is what it did, and the profit was $1,800. So the risk to reward was great, five times the amount risk. Risk 360 bucks and make 1800 that's really nice, especially for a trade that does not go on to even the full-on target. Remember, most of my trades, if I'm going to a bigger target or a real target, I'm looking to make 10 to 20 times the amount of risk. If a tr just any normal trade, even if it doesn't get to the target, I expect to make four to five. That's, you know, I don't even want to have to stay in a trade to make five times the amount to get to the target. If I'm getting something to the target with my entries, the way that I teach, the way that I trade, I'm making 10 plus. So I have wiggle room and nice profitability no matter what happens. If you took this trade here, though, and took it down in here and killed it, too quickly, got scared out of with this rally, didn't have conviction, didn't know what you were doing, took it off unnecessarily. You could have taken this off into this rally up here and gotten back out and made 10 cents or had a beautiful move all the way down, even though it didn't even get to the full-on target, a beautiful, beautiful trade where you wouldn't have killed it too early, cutting a nice loser. Why? Because you would know what to look for. Knowing that this isn't doing anything wrong, knowing that this isn't a problem at all, knowing that this rally has no meaning that the gap is good, or what I call a golden gap, and will play out, and did play out. So the profit in this was great. Now, let's review. The GE profit was $1,800. The PKI loss was $345. The risk in both trades was approximately the same, roughing it, $345, $360, or around $350. So the results for the profitability was $14.55 that you made, and your overall risk to reward was still, still excellent. Over four, 4.2 was made even with the one loss. So do you see, the, you see the, the importance of this? This is really how you do it. I mean, this is absolutely how you do it. This is it. Profits matter when you're trading. Now, when you are new, you're learning. 
So you're giving yourself a little bit more wiggly jiggly room. However, profits still matter when you're learning because you have to learn the right things to do and you have to have the right actions so that you don't create bad habits. I find that many people who are trading incorrectly have bad habits that have to be relearned. Is it possible to relearn something? Absolutely. However, you do have to learn it. You do have to learn the correct things to do. In other words, what trades are trades that you should cut and what trades are trades that you should let run? One great system is really all you need to make money as a successful trader. And if you can find a system you can play in multiple time frames, which my gap system is, it's even better because then you have so much flexibility with the overall strategy. The class that I teach is called the Golden Gap. And I created it for myself to trade and I use it myself. It's called the Golden Gap System. The class I'm doing is May 18th and 19th. It's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $19.99, and I offer free retakes. As many times as you need to retake the class after you pay for it the first time, I allow you to do so. Why? Because I feel that it's important for students to learn the information through repetition and understanding. And everyone's time frame for learning things is different. And I understand that, and I think it's really important for you to grasp the information and learn it. If you're interested in more information about the class, please contact me at melissa at thestockswish.com. So I will see you at the free webinar on Tuesday afternoon at 4.30 Eastern Time. I can't wait. It's going to be a terrific class. If you're interested in more information in the meantime, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody.